My name is Ejimini Yayi and I'm representing the Woos Local Committee at UBC Vancouver. My own challenge was to write a poem that represented the essence of the Her Challenge, Your Challenge campaign. That very notion that equality in society is everyone's business. So I wrote the poem, performed it, and now I'm here to present it to you on behalf of my local committee. I entitled the poem, Her Challenge, Our Challenge, because I believe that a woman's struggle is invariably tied to each one of our own lived experience. And so a woman shouldn't have to be alone in her fight because her challenge is our challenge as well. So here it is, Her Challenge, Our Challenge. Since when did common dreams become exclusive? Since when did a thirsty mind become repulsive? Social constructs become conclusive. Human rights become elusive. Since when did this very species become alien? Since when did equality fall on a gradient, dropping some in abandonment, suppressing the voices that rest in them, leaving meek smiles that hide within layers and layers of untapped wisdom? Since when? Since when? Since when did that woman with great strength in her stride, spreading out her goodwill with still more to provide? Since when did she fall? Did she fall lower? Did she fall to the bottom? Did she fall to the lowest rungs of humanity? Since when did she become the other? Did she stand alone amongst us all? Did she fail to be an equal? Did she need to lose her dignity? Since when? Since when? Since the time we forgot, since the time we let our eyes shut, since the time we refuse to comprehend that a woman is a human and the struggle she breeds are the struggles we have in common because her pain and life marginalized come from a world where we reside and the lessons she takes and leaves with her child impact the world that we leave behind. She's trying to be seen, fighting to survive in this world, pushing her against the grain. Her world where her actions and thoughts remain constrained. Your world where an action adds to the strain. Our world where our perspectives have the power to frame the experiences and dreams, the opportunities foreseen that we'll build together for all to endeavor side by side, not below or above each other making us part of a place where one woman's burden gives the next person space to stand up to a system that has left values debased, to shift around the borders and give rise to a case in which anyone's worth cannot be replaced. No, because in this place, not just in mental space, but in this place, equality can thrive and it will come alive at the point when we realize that in actuality, within our ties, her gains can stem from our gains. Her smile can take root in our smile. Her hurt can reflect our own hurt because her fight with all her might, her plight to attain a simple right is embedded within her challenge, her challenge, her challenge, a human challenge. Her challenge is our challenge.